Hey everybody, it's good to have you back. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That'll really help us out, and that'll help you know when there's more videos coming out. Uh, notification bell will too. Um, today, we're going to be working on a project that should help us um, tackle something that's really been uh, making life a little difficult on us with our goats. Uh, we're going to take some pallet wood and make us a hay feeder for the goats. Um, our current setup, we're having to carry hay to them about every single day and you know it's about the perfect amount for the three goats that we've been feeding but now we have three more and you'll see that in some future videos. Um, but as for right now if you don't mind go ahead and hit that thumbs up button since you've already hit the subscribe and we'll get into the video. Okay so here in front of me I have the two before bottom boards that you see on a pallet, skid, how, whatever you want to call it. Um, I have four of these. The idea today is to make an X with these boards, fasten it together, and then on the back side here, put some slats to where there'll be a gap and it'll hold, help hold the um, hay in the feeder and then the bottom will rest on the ground and obviously we'll put some supports there to help strengthen it up. But that's that's kind of the idea. We've already went through uh, for time's sake and uh, removed uh, the boards, taken it apart and removed the nails. Um, but I have went ahead and marked my marks and here is how I plan to do this. A typical skid is about 40 inches wide and 48 inches long. Um, so th this board here is approximately, within a quarter of an inch, approximately 48 inches long. Um, half of that is 24. The width of a 2 before is 3 and 3 quarters wide. So I am going to allow, here in between my two marks, 3 and 3 quarters of an inch. 24 inches on center. Whenever you're pulling your tape, those measurements work out to be... Um, roughly 22 and 1 8 and 25 and 7 8 um, and that will allow for a 24 inch on center for the X so basically the thoughts are have the center of this piece and the center of this piece overlap each other and make an X that should give plenty of hay storage here in the middle where my chest and head is and then here, as they touch the ground, that's plenty of support to help keep it from rocking and balance, um, and uh, give it good counterbalance. I guess, I guess that's, I'm saying that right. Um, but anyways, I've already made those marks. I'm going to go through with a speed square. The tools you're going to need for this, um, basic uh, hammer and nails will work. Speed square will help give you a good, uh, a good uh, straight line. This, you can pick them up for usually a buck or two at Harbor Freight. Uh, Lowe's tends to be a little higher. And then a tape measure and a pencil. It's going to be pretty simple. I am going to use um, I am going to use a, a screw gun to fasten the main boards together. But I'll get out my um, my battery powered Dewalt nailer and fasten the slats on. But like I said, uh, if you're working with basic tools, basic hammer and nails will work. Um, I am staying away from the treated lumber. Uh, I I have the slats and everything. Everything has been taken apart. It has been um, wet, dried, sun bleached, I guess you'd say, because I've had it sitting out in the sun. Um, so hopefully, you know, everything's good and clean for the goats. But we're going to go ahead and get into it. So as I said, I have went through and I have marked 22 and 5 eighths on every board. Or sorry, 22 and 1 eighth and then 25 and 7 eighths on every board. I'm going to go through... Straighten up those lines. And what I am going to do, and I know that sun's in my face a little bit. I know my half bald head might, might cause a little glare. <laughs> but um, what I'm going to do, the completely smooth side where there's no, notch, no notches cut out, I'm going to let that be to the outside so that way I can have um, my slats on that part of the board. That way it's, it, you know, it's good and smooth for whatever it's going to be fastened to. So 
when you're making your X, when you're making your X, we're going to turn the notches up and the smooth side down. And basically, you're going to have your top line go on the, on the raw edge of the board here and have it in between have it in between the two boards two lines on the other board all right and i may be out of the picture for a little bit but i just want you to be able to see kind of what i'm doing here I'm using a three inch uh, screw. This is an exterior grade screw. Sorry, notifications are going off on my phone. I'm gonna run them in at an angle because with these boards being an inch and a half wide, that's three inches exactly. And there you have it. There's my X. Okay. So there is one side. I'm going to top that down on the ground. Actually, I'm going to put me a couple more screws in. Alright, so I have four three inch screws in that. That should be pretty sturdy for a goat feeder. Now, we're going to do the same thing here. Okay, so I hope you can see this okay. I know that sun's a little rough there. Anyways, you can see how I have these built. And I stood them up there against the trailer. This upper part here, where it goes down... Uh, that's where we'll put the hay now on this underside coming up under here on going across We're gonna put slats and those slats. I'm probably uh, the bottom will be open The width of a two before and then I'll probably put maybe maybe four inches or so Yeah, something like that. Maybe the width of a board spacing and go here 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 like that all the way up Okay, then now the next step that I'm going to do, and I need to correct myself on the tools, you will need uh, some form of saw. Uh, no heavier wood or no more time than it's going to take. A traditional hand saw uh, for cutting wood will be fine. I'm going to cut the slats for the size of the hay feeder that I just described, and I'm going to choose to cut mine mm, about 36 or 38 inches. Uh, I'm going to look at the different boards and see... Um, how well they are. I, I'd like to cut the old nail holes out so that way they won't split quite as bad. So I'm going to look at these and, and you'll see you can see how that's kind of split which is fine it's just going to be on the end of, end of the feeder but you know if you run a nail in it it's just going to split again but if you can cut that out a couple inches off you're fine. Like I said these boards are in the neighborhood of 40 inches uh, that one's right on some of these are just a fuzz under or fuzz over you know within a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch but I'm gonna I'm gonna go and probably take uh, two inches off of each side and make them 36 inches long okay always wear eye protection when you're cutting Okay, so we, we have all of our boards cut, and we'll have them stacked up here beside the trailer. Um, I've laid my X's up here. This is this is what you see. Now, this, 
this piece here, I know the sun was probably a little hard to see in that last, last shot, but this top back smooth piece is where we're going to fasten our slats to. So the way I'm going to do it, I have our slat. I'm going to rest it on this board because we're measured the same distance on the other one. I'm going to rest it on there at that same spot and let it go straight across to the other side, if that makes sense. Okay, so I had to uh, get a little help holding with this part. All right, if you can slide that over. Hold it somewhere right there. Okay, so I changed the angle here, um, how we were working, so that way it was a little little weird because we was trying to get out of the sun. But anyways, uh, we have our first board on here. We're going to be working up. One of the pieces that I cut off the end is going to give me the slat spacing that I need, so I'm going to place it on top of the, first, the next board. That way I've got good spacing on the way up, and the goats can get their feed, their hay through here. So I have two of these boards, little pieces. They are the same height. Put one on each side. We'll lay that on top. And we're going to take the nailer and shoot this one on as well. We don't quite have enough to get to the top, but that'll be fine. I'd like to have uh, one more board. Okay, I do need to make one quick correction. Um, I didn't pay attention whenever I was um, putting these X's together. Um, but anyways, uh, the distance is longer on this side, obviously, because that was, both of these are on the inside. Um, so the, four, the standard 40 inch board on this will work fine gonna hang over just the fuzz on each side but I'm just gonna let it be um, but where these two uprights here are on the outside of these here obviously that adds another three inches to it so I'm just gonna I'm gonna go ahead and nail these on here sorry for the mistake um, you know we're all human I am missing the holes from the previous uh, nails. And I'm just going to try to make it as even as I can on each side there. And luckily we're making this out of pallet wood, so it's not that expensive if you mess up. All 
All right, now that that is down, that that is done. Okay, now you can kind of see, you tip it forward, the hay can go in here. Now we're gonna go on and do some bracing on the sides and down here on the legs. Okay, so I have it up on the side. Now I'm gonna do my side bracing. And you'll see where, where we did the X, this is lower than this. So I'm gonna scab, I've got a bucket of scraps. You know, right now this is probably worth 10 bucks. <laughs> but I'm gonna scab beside. And then I can just come across and it's pretty even. I'm not gonna worry about the excess. It's pretty even to where I can put this corner brace on. Alright. Now down here on this part, I have uh, set down, traced the back side and cut that to fit um, so that what you know because where those are overlap we'll shoot it on okay well, there is that side Here is our hay basket. Pretty happy. Pretty happy. Now we're going to brace it side by side to side on these uh, on these bottom legs.
these blocks of wood here um they came i know you can't see my face but these blocks of wood are from uh some pieces of or from loads of material that i get from lowe's and um they put them they put them for the banding that's where the band goes when they're banding a bunch of material together all i did was just stuck it on here at an angle and um trace the back side so that way i can make it flush and it won't hang out um because the, the goats are going to be kind of walking up to this And I'm going to screw these in so it's a little stronger. All right, so there's our feeder to that point. Let me get the camera here and spin it around. Okay, so here is the feeder to this point. I went ahead and added another, an X brace to each side. I forgot to hit record, uh, but um, that started it up a little bit. You know, I didn't, that's obviously not centered. I just went and just slapped that on there. Um, but anyways, you can see how much room we have in here for the feed. I mean, for the hay. And that is, we've got 30 and a half inches rim to rim. And then rim to rim over here, about 39 and a quarter. Anyways, that should work out pretty good. Not the prettiest thing in the world, but it's definitely free. For the most part, free, quote unquote free. Uh, took just, you know, 30 minutes time. 
about 30 nails and a dozen screws or so but things uh things look pretty good okay so we have the feeder in the kennel under cover where they typically eat we just they don't stay in this kennel if the door stays open uh we just have a, a cover over it right now to uh keep everything dry jasper leave the goat alone oh jasper that nothing but a pup but anyways um they're they're eating up a storm hoping you hear me so anyways they're eating pretty good um that's Ethel there. Back here behind me is Bessie. We just purchased Bessie. And then we have Lola outside right there. And then over here, this is Molly. Ooh, get my finger to work here. That is Molly. And you've met uh, Lucy and Ethel. Um, but anyways, I'll do a video talking about all of our goats um, a little later. But here's the, here is the feeder. I'm going to spin you around let you see some footage here working pretty good they can use those uh, diagonal braces to rest their feet on while they reach to the top As you can see where they're pulling through the slats that's miss Ethel seems to be working pretty well